How's it going guys? Today I have a little app review here for this application right here. You can see what's called right there on the top. It's called One Tap Cleaner. And I'm going to try to go through everything I can on this application to show you how it functions. It does have some neat little, uh, neat little functions in it as you go through it. So first of all, we're going to start up here at the top and just show you this uh, kind of menu interface and go through it. So um, if you hit this cash cleaner, it's the same as hitting it on that main screen right there. And it goes through and populates all the applications. Goes ahead and shows you how much cash size you have right there. And how much you'll free up by going ahead and cleaning out your cash. Now, cleaning out cash is not a big deal. It repopulates as apps launch. So by doing this, it's not going to really hurt anything. It actually sometimes will even speed up your applications. Maybe not at launch, but uh, just overall running to not have such a big cache partition, or not partition, but cache size. So that's what that does. We'll go ahead and go to the next one is History Cleaner. And you can see it pops up and lets you clean the history of your Google Play searches, your browsers, your clipboard, download files, all that kind of stuff. Next we can go to Call and Text. And I think you're getting the idea how this functions. You have missed call logs and other things, and you can go ahead and just clean those out and be done with them. Default Cleaner, this is really nice because it takes your default applications, these are the applications I have set up for default, and allows you to uh, disable them. So, and it'll then leave you to have the pop-up to pick a new default. So I'll give you an example of one of these, and that is the launcher. This is my launcher, sorry about the notification right there. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on it. And basically it's a shortcut to the app information, more or less. And then gives you a little bit of information down here in the blue. And then you can say clear default. And now we can go back really quick. And whenever I hit my home button, it's going to now again ask me what I want my default to be. So I'm going to put it back to what I had. But now it gives me to choose through all the different launchers I have. Um, so that's basically what clearing default does. Um, which is really, really easy to use. And I absolutely love that it does it for all your applications. It's just a good shortcut to get to that app information screen so you can clear these defaults out. Uh, I really like it. It's very nice. You can also check multiples. And I'll do, I'll do this one and this one. And then along the bottom here, you can just hit that check with the trash can. And it'll clear out, uh, gives you options for this one. Clear default. And it should, yep, there you go. The next one, and clear default. And now those are both cleared out of your default applications. So I think you guys get the picture of it. You can also do a refresh down here. Um, and you have questions, you can go in here and go look at information about this. And it goes through it really nicely and explains it to you guys. So overall, real nice. So then we got clear all. Obviously, that's going to just clear everything it clears your cache it clears your history it clears your calls it kills your default it cleans out all that stuff in one click shot right there by hitting that button which is really nice you can view this on play store uh, more apps and then we can go to about and in about it just has some frequently asked questions some features just overall really nice information on the application i'm going to go back one more here and we'll look at the last thing then you have settings and in settings, you can see we have auto clean on boot. It'll automatically do some things on boot if you want to set that up, which is pretty nice. Um, it has things about uh, cache stuff in here and when it's going to alert you if your cache size gets too high. Um, just a lot of good little tweaks and settings in here. Themes, obviously, you can change some themes in there as well. Um, let's see what else I can see here. Count apps, use size, so different things like that. Show system apps, if you want to show those in there when you're cleaning out cache partition. Um, just, just a whole bunch of little tweaks in here that you guys can uh, adjust and get to. Now, if you want to do into settings, there's two ways to get into settings. You can be at your main page, which is right here, and you can click on settings right there. Or you can do the settings in here. It really gets you to the same settings screen. It's just two different ways of getting to them. 
So then you have, this is the same thing. So basically these along the side here in blue are the same thing as these options right here. It just has two fun functional ways to get to them. Um, so if you're in one, for example, you're in the default cleaner, you can then just come up here and click it and, and click right quick to the next one you want to get to like uh, cash cleaner and it'll, it'll, it'll boot into cash cleaner um, instead of hitting the back button. So it's just, it's just another way of doing it and getting into everything. So those are settings. And we'll get back out of settings and there's your your main screens so you do have a full version that does have some extra features you guys can buy with that shopping cart right there you do have um, more apps and look at other apps the developer has gotten out and you can click on it and it'll I think open up yeah open up a URL and give you a link to all the applications from this developer got a lot of cool stuff you guys check that out um, so other than that that's pretty much it it does tell you your totals along the bottom right there uh, total gigabyte space and all that kind of good stuff but basically this application if I could wrap it up for you guys it's really just like shortcuts to everything it's really it's really what it is there's a couple things that you can't get to through the normal settings but it just makes it a super easy interface and shortcut you to it so like for example the history cleaner if you want to clean out your history of like chrome it's going to just open up chrome history so and then you can just wipe out and clear it out just to give you an idea right there in the bottom clear browser browser data so it, it's it's just a way to get to everything fast and easy is really what it boils down to if you want to look at it that way it's, it's probably the easiest way to do it because you can get into app information through settings you can get into that browser history through your browser and then settings it just does it all for you with one easy shortcut like it says right there one tab cleaner makes it simple and easy to use um, definitely like like the call logs and things like that. That's a little harder to figure out how to erase. Um, so that's nice that it, it's an easy easy interface to use. Like right here, I can just go in here and go to uh, missed missed calls. I can show log. Here's a log. Clear log. And boom, done. Or you can just select select one, and then at the bottom just hit that. And it'll clear it and it'll be done and you have your refreshes and all that kind of stuff um, your questions your settings again shopping cart if you want to look in a pro version and all that so it, it's just like I said it's a real nice way of doing it all with very easy easy to access and nice easy touch features just to make it really really simple on how to clean any of your stuff out of your phone this will give your device more space and um, just give more easy controls really more or less so there you go guys that's going to wrap up my review here of one tap cleaner awesome little app for cleaning up and getting some free space on your device hope you guys like this review and as always root junkie out